Hello everyone, welcome back to the Syntax Byte. My name is Ryan and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save and load an ODC file with Microsoft Excel. Now this is a pretty new feature with the latest version of Microsoft 365. So if you've already tried double clicking an ODC file and it didn't work and you're here to wonder how to use it, it may be because you don't have a new enough version of Excel. So make sure you're running the latest version of Microsoft 365 and sort of be the bearer of bad news if uh, you're not running the latest version of my uh, Microsoft Excel 365 But if you are in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ODC file as well as load one into Microsoft Excel And what an ODC file is is it's an office data connection file that actually Takes the information from a power query connection that you have Doesn't save it with the rest of your workbook stuff. It just does the query and then you can uh, share that query around so other people can use the exact same query in their workbook um, So to get started, we're just going to create a really simple query. I'm not going to do anything complex here We're not going to do any kind of transformations uh, I'm just going to go ahead and import a table from the web. So here I have uh, the weather for Ottawa hourly forecast cool stuff and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a quick web query and uh, like I said if you're doing this uh, You know, you're probably gonna want to do some sort of a transformation on this um, but I'm just gonna save the query as is. So we're gonna go ahead and do a load. Now, you can save this query as an ODC file. How do we do that? Uh, the first thing is you wanna make sure you have some sort of a cell on the table selected. So, you know, when you go on the table, it brings up this table design and query tab, and when you're not, it does that. So, um, just go there, go to data, and go to connection properties. Again, if you go here and it's grayed out, make sure you're on the table. So the next thing to do is go to connection properties, click definition, and under here you can do an export connection file. And Excel has this folder called my data sources. It's probably already created it for you, but you can save the file anywhere you like, anywhere that's convenient. I'm gonna call this Ottawa weather. I'm gonna save it. Okay, done. From there, I'm gonna create a new workbook, new blank workbook. And inside of this blank workbook, I want to import that file. Now, there's two ways to use an ODC file. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, you can just double click the file. What that's going to do is it's going to open it up in a new Excel workbook and throw the query on the first sheet. Sometimes that's what you want. However, you might also want to use the file in an existing workbook. You know, you've got existing stuff in here. You know, let's say I have, uh, I don't know, just, just my stuff in here. I have this cell. It's like... Uh, Merge and centered and uh, it says my stuff and you know, I want to put the table under my stuff right here on a3 That's where I want it. How do we do that? We go to data. We go to existing connections It may show up here under connection files on this computer But if it doesn't go browse for more find it it automatically opens up my data sources But again, it could be anywhere on your computer Go ahead and click the file click open now it's gonna offer you those options that you'd usually get if you're importing the data yourself for the first time. How do you wanna view the data in your workbook? You do table, you can do pivot table report, pivot chart, only create a connection that won't actually import the data, and or you can put it on, on the uh, existing worksheet or create a new worksheet. So I wanna put on A3, it picked A3 already because it was selected, but if it's not, go ahead and select it, click OK, now we can see that the table gets put there right on A3, right under my stuff. That's exactly how I wanted it. So that's just a quick video on ODC files, how to create them, how to import them in Excel. Like I said, this only works with the latest version of Microsoft Office 365. So if you're having problems, you're finding the options I'm showing in the video aren't in your Excel, or if you're finding that, um, you know, you double click the ODC file and it just does nothing, or your computer doesn't know what to do with it, double check that you're running the latest version of Excel 365, um, at least as of September 4th, 2021, that is what you need. I am also not too sure about Mac, but it should work on the Mac side as well. Anyway, guys, that's been a quick tip on how to use an ODC file in Excel. I hope you have found the video to be useful. If you did, throw a like on the video. If you're still having trouble or just wanna say thanks, leave a comment down below. And if you want more Excel tutorials like this one, throw a subscribe on the channel because I got lots more coming up in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.